Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Swati, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Where if the book is nice, we read it twice. So today, I am bringing you contradiction book tag. Every reader is a contradict. So I say I like fantasy, but I don't pick up as much as I you would expect. I say I love thrillers, but I can't stop giving bad star rating to thrillers, and especially this year where I have disliked so many thrillers that I've read. So it's time to spill some tea. We are going to talk about what is something that I like or love and what is something that I disliked even though I kind of predicted that I would like it. So let's begin the video. is I love this journal but I didn't like this. Now there are two journals I basically say that I love which is fantasy and thrillers and I just as I said that I've been reading thrillers and disliking it. I think I have the exact appropriate two books for you for this tag which is Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney and The Soulmate. Now both these books promise a hell lot of intrigue in their synopsis. Daisy Darker was a close circular isolated mystery where we were following a grandma and the titular character was one of the disowned grandchildren who got back together with her grandma along with her relatives to spend some time with her. Now this this premise sounded very good. But the problem with the story was the plot twist. It had such a ridiculous plot twist that I have been saying it again and again and again that this book is not the one for me. And it might not be the one for you as well. That's how strongly I feel about this book. Now the soulmate on the other hand had multi multiple point of view for the characters but each of them were discovering facts in their own pace. So you kind of, so you see a character dis kind of discovering a fact but then somebody else did and then somebody else did. So you were reading the same occurrence happening again and again and again which was taking me out of the story. Also the twists were not twisty enough. So these two books are something that I love the genre. I love thriller. You see my this year's thriller TBR but I didn't like these two. The next prompt is I rarely read this genre. But I love this book and for that I have picked up none other than The Nightingale. Now I don't like historical fiction. History was one of my weakest subjects in school and I kind of found it boring. But as a grown up when I have started reading a little bit of history in my books, I have always liked it. So maybe it's time to change my perception and the stalwart of the genre has changed my perception because of, because of this book. This is Christian Hannah's The Nightingale. I have fallen in love with narratives from the past. It's a World War II story, but it's not typical. It's atypical because this is about two women during the war and how the women persevere rather than soldiers going for the war and the macabre destruction that it creates. We were thinking about, we were with two very strong female protagonist who were sisters and their story and how they fare through even in the most brutal of situations. So if you want to pick one book from this list, I will say you should pick this one. This is, this is something I recommend to everybody. This is some uh, one of those books which made me cry and after crying I kind of felt like any book that makes me cry and feels so much has to be one of the top ones. The next prompt is, I love this trope but I didn't like this book and for that I've selected Nine Perfect Strangers. Now this is Leon Moriarty's close circular isolated mystery and they are a plethora of characters who have come together for a spa retreat. There is a family, some are eclectic and it's a very well picked mix of characters. That being said, this book dragged on and on and on. There was not a single point in the day when I was reading it. I read it in one day. There was not even a single point in a day when I thought I should keep it down. But that being said, 
there was not a single point in a day which made me smile or laugh or amuses amused me it was like it's a lien body so i had to read it and i finished it and i lost one whole day of my life on this a absolutely horrible reading experience i'm spilling some tea today let's let's hope i talk about some books that i liked so the next prompt is i hate this trope but i love this now i was never a fan for romance and the romance genre generally comes with all the known all the tropes that we know of the most hated trope according to me and i am a minority in this because generally people love enemies to lover trope but somehow i just cannot understand how enemies can become lovers now generally they use a misunderstanding trope that there is there was some misunderstanding between the two and then they could have liked each other but they ended up disliking each other or they had issues understanding each other so which i kind of find a little lame or a you turn which which is kind of a cheating if you think about it so the book that changed my perception on this trope was none other than the unhoneymooners by christina lauren now christina lauren are the one of the most beloved duo writers for romance genre i understand where the hype comes from after reading this book i started reading romance now i have a shelf of romance books with me. in the unhoneymooners sister of the bride needs to go on her honeymoon so that she saves her sister some money and go with the bride groom's friend who is a so called sworn enemy they don't like each other but things turn and this book is as saucy as it should get the language is very heart touching and it made me feel the feels and that's why it is a book that i love which has a trope that i hate the next prompt is i love this author but i didn't like this book i am sorry i absolutely absolutely love the kind word killing by peter swanson this is a follow up book having my favorite lily ginter and i expected the world from it i have liked nine lives which generally people don't like too much from this author and i have liked every single book that i have read from him so with the kind was saving i was expecting 6 out of 5 stars but i got a measly 3 3 is not bad but it is not what i was expecting so this one disappointed me to the math i am spilling some tea here i hope i don't scare off any viewers so the next prompt is i previously disliked the book from this author but i like this book so i am going to talk about neil gaiman now i absolutely adore neil gaiman's writing and i love the way he plots his his style is very unique and i have always enjoyed anything associated with him even the comic book sandman series i absolutely love it so i was really surprised when i didn't like american gods that being said this is a prompt where i have to pick a book i liked and for that i am picking coraline now this is a book i read american gods before it was his magnum opus i didn't like it so i was a little wary but coraline sold this author for me i absolutely love the story and it was such a great middle great story it is better fantasy than some adult fantasies as well the book was quick it packs a punch the next prompt is i love this cover but i didn't like this and i have to pick this cover which is the reckless girls i absolutely loved the cover for this one it was it gave me everything that i wanted for a summer read that being said this again was a dud for me it kind of meandered into a region where i was not very comfortable with and the characters did not make me feel anything so i even if the payoffs were big i kind of didn't feel anything from it so generally people write this book off as a one time read and a fun one to do but i did not have too much fun the last prompt is i did not like this cover but i love this and for that i have selected the seven and a half deaths of evelyn hardcastle now this both the covers for this book are kind of ho hum one is just plain simple typography which is not great but the other one is a stairs plain white stairs which also does not do anything for me because this book was 
something I read two years ago and I still think about it on a regular basis nowadays. So this was such a twisty, such a nice story and I absolutely loved it. It is considered slightly prob problematic but that being said, the art of storytelling was chef's kiss in this book and I absolutely, absolutely loved it. It is a story about a murder that happened in a mansion, close circulated, isolated mystery but the detective is waking up one by one in different bodies every day and when the murder happens the times the time resets and he wakes up in a different body and he is starting to collect clues so it's a very interesting premise the technicality of the story is very interesting and the timeline the game with the timeline is very amusing that being said the covers not so much i think when it has a 10 year anniversary i would love to have a redesign of this cover those are all the books that i like or i should say hate and like generally the books i hated more than liked <laughs> so those are all the books that i like let me know what are your opinions on these prompts you can talk in have a conversation down below if you were interested in any of them like and subscribe if you like what I do over here. I really appreciate each and every one of you who is look, watching my videos. And I sincerely say thank you to you. That's all for today. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.